Did you know that the old Pantheon was supposed to be a serious character? At least that's what you would think after listening to his previous voice lines and reading his role. Sadly, the aspect of war was a product of Riot's early champion design. His goofy looks and extremely simplistic playstyle prevented him from being anything more than a walking reference to the movie 300. Pantheon was... basic. But Riot already proved us that they can make something great from basic design, so it was interesting to watch in which direction they would take his rework. And in my opinion... They did not disappoint. If I were to make a tier list of all reworks, it would only have 4 tiers. Amazing, good, meh and bad. I think that Pantheon definitely belongs to the first tier, since his rework expands on the original design instead of replacing it with something new. Before, Pantheon was just a very, very annoying rain bully. His passive blocked auto attacks, tower shots and cannon minions from time to time. Q was a homing spear. W stunned the enemy. E did this. And besides that, it also gave you the ability to passively crit. To passively crit low <sighs> To passively crit low HP enemies with your Q and auto attacks. And of course, the ultimate. I'm a baker. Yes, a baker. I've always wanted to be a baker. <coughs> anyway, this simple champion was upgraded in a very interesting way. The current passive empowers his basic abilities. Q became a skill shot, which made it a lot less annoying for the enemy, but gave the Pantheon player the ability to hit multiple targets with one Q. W is still a stun, but the empowered version synergizes really well with press the attack. Oh my! And while we're talking about the empowered W, I have to mention that I really love the fact how it doesn't force you to stay in one place. You can stun someone, back off, and throw him into a shish kebab later. The new E still makes you SRAM, but with the added bonus of actually using your shield for its intended purpose. Hello, Pantheon from League of Legends. Can I deal some damage to you with my ultimate ability? No. Oh, but this quote... Shields defend hearts, both yours and those beside you. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit. You saw the ultimate in the intro, so I'm not going to focus on how epic it looks. I'd rather just tell you why I like it so much. The old Pantheon would just loot exactly where his target was standing at the time. With the new ultimate your position means a lot, because ulting from a wrong direction gives your enemies a chance to escape. But when you do it right, you can cut off one of their escapes or force them to go right for your ult. I know that it's not a lot, but the small amount of decision making is better than the old me see, me click approach. At the beginning of the video I mentioned that Pantheon was supposed to be a serious character and I'm happy that they finally made him feel that way. No more pizza feed, 
weird skins and braided playstyle. Now his only comedic part is the fact that he still wants to be a baker. And I love it. So I created a poll where you had the option to choose between Pantheon and Jean, but you are very indecisive. I'm going to make a lot more polls from now on, so make sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to get more involved. And of course, as always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. That's all from me. Bye.